Ladies and gents, welcome to Clarington Kia, where it's your experience, your way, every day, online and in store. And in store, I have for you this 2017 Ford F-150 XLT full crew cab, 4x4, with the towing package, black on black. What a dynamite looking truck. Now, before we get into how dynamite this truck is, just want to let you know the purpose of this video. And it's for you folks at home or in the office, wherever you're watching this video, you're looking at the truck going, I love it, it looks great, but hey, did they alter the pictures? Is there scratches that I'm not seeing? What's the condition of the truck? And I'm gonna go and give you a full tour, 360 inside and out, and point out any dings, dents, scratches that I can find. And as well, we're gonna talk about some of the amazing features on this F-150. So that way you have the confidence in knowing that this is a fantastic truck and you could simply purchase it online if you'd like. Or if you wanna come down to the store, you know what you're getting yourself into and the condition of the vehicle. So that way you're just like, hey, I just wanna go there, drive it, and then wrap up my deal. But that's why we do these videos for you folks. So that way you have the confidence in this amazing truck. So let's jump right into this. As I do these tours, I will point out things dead scratches. You don't have to put your glasses on. I'm gonna get right in and close and show you. So underneath the hood of this F-150, we have a five liter V8 engine. That is the one you want, especially if you're gonna be using this as a work truck, towing, got boats, trailers, whatever it might be. That's the engine you want. Obviously we can tow pretty decent amount of weight with that. It's up to 10,100 pounds. And uh, when we get around the back, I'll get into a little bit more of that as well. But let's start with the front here. We've got these nice headlights. Of course, that kind of Ford c shape headlight. Wow, okay. <laughs> C-shape, try saying that three times. C-shape headlight, looking really nice. And then the fog lights down below. Now the front bumper, very typical of trucks. We do have a couple stone chips in that metal front bumper at the front. Nothing crazy, doesn't stand out as anything horrible by any means, but just wanted to point out that they are there. Have the nice big Ford logo, huge front presence on the truck, obviously. Tow hooks on the front, in case you want to be a hero, you see somebody kind of trapped, you can pull them out. And then, again, nice looking fender. Now take a look at these wheels. These things are looking fantastic. They are 20 inch wheels wrapped in a 28560 tire. So what those numbers mean, 28560, it means that this is 285 millimeters wide and this is 60 millimeters tall. And it's the tall part that I like on this truck because it really gives it that kind of aggressive, mean looking stance, that 60 millimeter tall tire. And that's, I mean, look at that, it looks so freaking cool. <laughs> now we've got the F-150 logo here, XLT badging on the side, turn signal indicators in the mirrors, vent visor covers for your windows, and then side steps for you and the kitties if they're trying to get in the back. And I'm gonna take a step back here and give you a full profile shot of this F-150. And it's looking gnarly, like those reels really, really make this truck look fantastic. Now coming to the side of the vehicle, just giving you again that inspection, everything is looking nice and clean. You can see it is the FX4 off-road package, so a little bit beefier suspension on it. It's gonna make it driving really nice, especially if you got a cottage, a little bit bumpier road. It's gonna handle that a little bit better, a little bit more sure-footed. Now here on the back, just a very, very light scratch here and here. Nothing crazy. Coming around to the tailgate, F-150 badge. And now here's where I wanna kind of disclose some information for you. So right here, we do have a little bit of a scratch and just a small, small, small dent. I mean, you can barely see it in the crease there of this body line, but a little bit there. And then there is some like, you can see that here, right? So a lot of that I think is gonna buff out. Um, so have our team just polish this up when you're taking delivery of it and let's see how much of that's going to come out But don't worry. These are already included You're not paying extra for these little scratches and the beauty part about that is is that this is a truck You're gonna use it. You're gonna put stuff in the back You're gonna have a great time with it go to Home Depot load it up whatever the case you're using this truck for But we've already taken care of those first little scratches that you're gonna put on us So you're not like oh son of a don't worry. It's already there. You're not gonna be depressed and crying if you get those little ones, right? Same thing over here, a little bit here, and just a small, small, small ding as well right here. Maybe the size of a dime. Super hard to see it, but just in the interest of disclosure, there are these little things on the tailgate that are included at no charge. Now, speaking of tailgate, well, that's a nice one there, eh? Maybe just put a little bit of touch-up bait there to make it look nicer. Now, let's flip this down. Not a dampening tailgate. I was hoping it was, but on a 17, I guess they didn't have that. That's okay. Right, we have the spray-in bed liner. 
so it keeps everything in the back nice and protected from the metal underneath we've got some tie down hooks on both sides of the bed so if you're putting some stuff in there you need to kind of secure it that's no problem now here's kind of a cool feature with ford in the tailgate you can push this and then this slides out right and then you got this fold that up and it's a tailgate step so i mean you can do this just one-handed just hop up here and now i'm in the truck look at me king of the castle king of the f-150s no i'm just trying can't skip um, but that's kind of a neat little step and a neat little design that they put here and then it just folds up let's see if you can do it with one hand there we go right and then that folds back down should have thought of this before trying to do it on a video but hey and then back into the tailgate ta-da pretty cool right let's flip that back up but that's a nice feature to have if you're you know getting you know it's one of those things you're, are you gonna use it a lot no when you need it though super convenient if you're always jumping in the back maybe loading up for the cottage or something like that now i digress on the back here we've got all your pins for your trailer harnesses right everything's oh that's cool um and then we've got the tow hitch receiver there as well now let's continue our tour onto the passenger side now look here we've got this nice looking exhaust tip and yes there is some sort of modification to the exhaust on this so i'm going to start it up in a few minutes and you can take a listen because it sounds pretty gnarly but it's not going to be one of those obnoxious ones where you're like oh come on buddy no pretty tame pretty mellow but it does sound a little bit throatier than the normal f-150 now coming around to the side what's this here this is junk hopefully it's not bird poop because i just touched it but <laughs> that's nothing to be worried about and then we're back up to the front end so other than what i've pointed out to you it's in great shape it's a black truck with 152k and this is i mean this is about as good as it's gonna get let's face it um they're you know this was not used for anything heavy duty by the looks of it now jumping into the back this full crew cab you can see there is so much leg room in the back here so whether you got adults kids teens tweens doesn't matter tons of room back here for every passenger alike and then over here we've got whoop, we've got a usb plug a 110 volt plug 400 watt max plug that's pretty insane um, and then one of these old school 12 volts up top there cup holders in the back of that center armrest for the drivers but everything looks good and then taking a smell definitely non-smoker vehicle smells nice inside no odors and you saw those WeatherTech floor mats there in the back, right? So they'll go back obviously in the front, but we keep them back there to keep them nice and clean. Now looking in, there's your passenger seat, no rips, tears, stains, burns. Seats are in really, really, really nice shape. The seat looks like it's never been sat in. It's actually so clean. It's really, really nice. Now it is a power driver's seat, right? And then we've got lots of junk storage on the door as you would want with a truck. Big grab handles, big door handles, big buttons. Why do they do that? They're assuming that maybe from time to time you're wearing big work gloves. So you've got these big handles so that way it's nothing dainty. You're not trying to jam your glove into there. It's a lot of bigger grab handles there. Now we do have power adjustable pedals. So those pedals, you can see them there. It's hard to see because they don't move a ton, ton, but they are moving back and forth. And that's really a nice feature as well. When you're talking about a truck, you can get this seat really in the most comfortable position possible so let's hop in ah. all right let's get it started up here got our cool little jackknife key all right ah hold on you know what we're gonna do that one more time and i'm gonna do one of these let's have a listen to that exhaust okay let's see if you can see it or see if you can hear it my gosh Hopefully you heard that, but it sounds nice. I'm going to rev it up a little bit. Right? Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, but it sounds pretty throaty, pretty gnarly. You're definitely going to know it's not just your atypical standard Ford F-150, which I like. I do like that. Um, I don't like the obnoxious ones where you're like, oh my gosh, but I can hear you like halfway down the street. So looking at the steering wheel, we have your controls for your center screen here on your dash. 
cruise controls, volume controls, Bluetooth controls, everything is obviously where it should be. Looking into the display here, um, so you've got a couple different things you can view, obviously your distance to empty, all the standard regular stuff you would want, right? Um, the nice thing that I do like about this though, is that you've got your trip fuel, you've got your towing, right? So you can check the trailer status, you can check a couple of different cool things when you're towing. Um, Off-road, so that's going to give you your depart or your angle of uh, descent and your kind of roll angle as well. That's nice. So, I, you know what? A lot of people go, what the heck do you need that for? Like, who cares? Well, if you are parking your trailer, you obviously want your trailer to be on level ground. So as you're rolling into your parking spot, you can find out where the most level ground is with that, um, with that gauge there. So that way you can park your trailer and hopefully not have to make too many adjustments to make it nice and level. Because that's uh, one of those things that being a former trailer owner, I know is kind of a nuisance sometimes. So here we have the four wheel drive controls, pretty simple stuff, two high, four high, four low, right? Nice and simple. And then down here, this is a really unique feature to Ford. I don't know any other company that does this, but this is your trailer backup control. And this, believe it or not, is your steering wheel when you are backing up your trailer. And there's a lot of configuration on this, so I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna butcher the explanation, but just YouTube Ford F-150 trailer backup system and it'll give you a much better explanation than I am. But the idea is, is when you have a trailer um, on the back of your F-150 and you've done the configurations and set it up, this will now act as your steering wheel because if you want to turn right, you just turn this right. If you want to turn the trailer left, you just turn it left. You no longer have this system where you're like, well, hold on, left is right, right is left, and then you're yelling in the back, babe, babe, am I doing it right? She's like, you're nowhere close. And then you have this big screaming fest in the middle of a trailer park with everybody looking at you. No, that hasn't ever happened to me before. Oh my gosh. So yeah, um, get that set up if you've got a trailer and you will love it because it avoids all the domestic disputes. We've also got your trailer brake controller here with the adjustable gain as well for your brakes, which is a nice additional feature. You don't have to buy that as an accessory. And then let's take a look. We've got a little bit of junk station up there. And then we've got your nice touchscreen display here. Now, of course, when we put it in reverse, we've got a nice rear view camera and you can see you've got a center line. What's the center line for? Well, you're gonna back up your trailer to the center line, tongue here, ball here, boom. Easy, easy reversing to get you lined up to uh, get your trailer hooked up, right? Like that feature. Let's back up. So nice sound system in this. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about is, oops, that's not it. <laughs> first thing we're gonna talk about is, oh gosh, where'd it go? Oh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Yes, 100% Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All you have to do is plug in your phone through any of the number of the USBs and this will display, will change to your iPhone display more or less. And it allows you to give access to Siri voice to text so you don't have to take up your phone and use that for text messaging. You can just obviously dictate what you'd like to say. You have your Waze, your Spotify, all your digital music. It's the way to use this system if you have an Apple phone or an Android, which who the heck doesn't, right? Unless you're on Huawei, I don't think you can use those anymore. Um, Wi-Fi in the car by subscription, of course. There's valet mode, there's all the system settings. Um, and then if you're not gonna plug in your phone every time, that's cool because we still have Bluetooth audio. So you can stream from Spotify from your phone if you like to do that rather than plugging it all in. Um, and then your radio has obviously Sirius satellite radio as well. So you've got everything here for your digital music, but the way to use this 100% is using your phone functionality through Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Now, if we go to Navi, because we do have built-in Navi, of course, that's the wrong button to choose. Let's go, how do we do that? Go back home. There you go. So there's your Navi system here. Your cool little split screen, right? Your radio, your phone, and that. Click on that, it gets a little bit bigger. And then you can have all of your um, destination and everything input there if you're choosing, again, not to use your phone, but it's up to you. Um, all of your, digi or your tactile controls are here as well. Notice the bigger, uh, bigger dials, why? I told you already, gloves, right? Bigger buttons, but that's all here too if you like to have those controls rather than the touchscreen stuff, that's no big deal. Sliding over here, we have some more power centers, right? That's again, a really nice feature to have in the front and in the rear. So that's for if you're, you know, you got your laptop or something, you want to keep it plugged in, you can do that there. Our heating and air conditioning controls are here. And then underneath we've got, hard to see it there. You got two more USBs and a junk controller there. So plug your phone in there and it'll hook up your Apple CarPlay Android Auto, right? And then swinging back, we have your shifter here. 
And then you do have your manual gear controls here. So when you're towing, um, you can obviously shift the gears manually. If you're going uphill, it won't find and search for, uh, for gears. You can control that manually. We've got our big cup holders here for our big gulps. Oh, it's a hot day today. Big gulps go there and then a really big armrest here. And that is for purpose as well as comfort because look at how big that box is, right? So you can fit a small little Chromebook in there or maybe even a laptop on its side kind of leaning over, but there's lots of space in there for whatever you might need that for. And then let's take a minute here to just give you a look at that dash kind of a little bit wider view, right? But it looks super, super nice. Now, the one thing I forgot to bring into the vehicle to show you is the Carfax, but you can be assured you can check the Carfax on our listing as well. But this is a one owner vehicle, no accident history. So this is exactly what you want, obviously, to have, you know, the confidence of knowing that this truck is in great shape and accident free, verified through Carfax. There are the rear seats there. And I think that's going to more or less wrap up what we want to talk about on the inside as far as condition and features. But I don't know about you, but this is a fantastic shape. F-150, it's got all the tools to do the job of family, cottaging, home, construction, do it yourself, whatever it is you're needing that truck for, or maybe you're just like a lot of people and you just want a truck for the sake of having a truck because, hey, sometimes going to Home Depot is cooler in a truck because you can put some stuff in the back that you don't need to do, right? Yeah, been there. But this is a really nice find here at Clarington Kia. Now, the best part about this is if you love this and you're from Niagara, you're from Kingston, you're from Ottawa, wherever you are, you can buy this vehicle without ever even having to come here. Just give us a call, send us an email, use any one of the widgets on our website, such as the appraise my trade-in or calculate my finance payments. Anything like that will trigger our team to reach back out to you and explain how we can get this delivered right to your door, right from the comfort of your own home, just like Amazon Prime. And financing arranged, Appraise your trade-in vehicle without ever seeing it done, no problem. Protection options on the truck, no problem. We can take care of the whole thing right here in store while you sit at home and just wait for your new truck to get delivered. But of course, if you'd like to visit us here in Bowmanville, just hop on the highway, jump off at Bowmanville Ave, pretty hard to forget that. And then you'll be right here in front of this amazing looking F-150. I mean, I could go on, but you've already seen the video. It's a nice truck. And congratulations to whoever decides to pick this bad boy up. Drop us a line in the comments. Let us know how much you love it because I'd love to hear back from you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And let's just look at this F-150 one last time. Take care.